after a long rivalry, protagonists and antagonists Yes. This allows the protagonist pro- protagonists and to be the winner. This is a spoiler to a 2006 movie. Okay, you cut out a little bit there because you run that by me again. After a long rivalry, the protagonist and antagonist kiss. This allows the protagonist's friend to be the winner. This is the spoiler for a 2006 movie. It's been so long since I've seen this, but is it Talladega Nights? It is Talladega Nights. Hey! Wow. And this is the What the Condor Podcast. Undefeated! What the Condor Podcast, episode (laughs) 6. Undefeated in the gulag, in the movie spoilers. Do I need any introduction? I am one third of the panel, Surf and Flea, aka Sunflower Seed. Over to my left in the podcast studio, we have. The medical doctor, the man himself, the movie review <laughs> man, Nasty Nate. Hey. And then to my right, we have the star of the stupidity, not the 13th Condor, <laughs> but the Condor 13. I made it in, despite of traffic. <laughs> yeah, the traffic was a little down. crazy on the way to the studio. Oh, one more person. Because he's giving me a funny look. He didn't get the Subway sandwiches last week, but we found him a match at Cockatoos. We've got producer Kyle on the boards. He'll never turn his mic on because he's so mad at me for mentioning Cockatoos, but it's fine. It's fine. Hey, Kyle, why didn't you tell me he swung that way? He swings every way, bro. Haven't you seen him play MLB The Show? He has less plate discipline than me. That's saying something. That is really saying something. I am so bad at MLB the show. <laughs> I mean, I'm good when the balls are in the strike zone. Yeah. <laughs> My ball just, still swing at it. Just about, yeah. Well. It's sad, but, you know, we make it work. So yeah, what's I, new with the lads? Not too much. So, without being too uh, detailed in this, I would like to bring up a working in customer service story that happened today. He met Kurt Angle. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> we had to close a set of our um, entrance and exit doors. Because somebody fell and got hurt. Uh-huh. There was, right. there was blood. An ambulance. Was Ooh. Blood. Nice. Um... Tell me why people are so entitled that we close the doors. They are questioning why they cannot use the doors while there's an ambulance trying to help this person who's on the ground on the door runner. <laughs> mad, I was saying, okay, we have these two other doors you can use. Use those. Right. I mean, Instead of this one where this man is laying in the middle of Seeking medical attention. Blood. <laughs> yes. No, dude. I mean, that's retail in a nutshell, man. Mm-hmm. They're coming here to spend their money on our product, but somehow they feel like they're owed something more. Yeah. I don't. I don't get it. No, nah, neither do I. It's like. Bro, you see this man laying here, receiving medical attention. Why do you think you can't use the doors? <laughs> I want you to take five seconds to think and give me a good reason that you can't use the doors. Use Remember, your context clues. Use your eyes. Use your context clues. I just made a hand <laughs> gesture to the ambulance, the guy on the ground. That's why. You see, yeah, well, why, why, why do you think? So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that, that that you know the doors are like glass, you can see through them. Yes, There's you can clearly see there. why you can't use this fucking. Everybody door. can just stand there and gawk at the guy who fell. 
Oh, yeah, the much. reason you can't use these doors is the power went out exactly on these doors right here, right now. Right. That's exactly what happened. The, exactly the sensor's right. actually malfunctioning and the doors are now locked. Please go away. Please um, go away. If you have found in the store in uh, 15 minutes, you'll be hunted for sport. Oh, God. Hunted <laughs> for sport. I'm okay with this. I mean, oh. It sounds like a lot of fun, yeah. actually. It's a dangerous game. So yeah, life in retail. Um, beautiful. Sucks. Beautiful. <laughs> Producer Kyle, I still don't understand <laughs> where our Subway sandwiches are. This is the second week in a row. That I have very kindly asked you to do this. And you have told me no. Dude, he's in his own little world over there. He doesn't he is. care. He's, he's probably texting Carlos from Cockatoos. Uh, wait, you, you got his number? Nice. Yeah, uh, shout out to Mr. Kyle, thing. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Shut up, Condor. <sighs> I mean, I mean, we still have Craig somewhere. <laughs> I let Craig go, bro. I came in here on my off day, my one day off from the studio, and I let Craig go. And uh, what am I on? A box. A chair. Something that's not Craig. But Craig wanted to be there. No. Then why did he run away as soon as I let him go? He probably wanted to go take a fucking shower. Condor? Where is it? Alright, I talked to the guys. We in two or three weeks. Three weeks? That is too long, bro. We've been trying to get a shower in here for like three, four you weeks. You had a golden already. shower, but you didn't like it. That didn't help the problem at hand. The only person really who uh, seemed to enjoy it was Oh Kelly. Well, there's somebody else that liked it. Oh. He was a little orange, and he <laughs> ran the country for a couple of years. <laughs> Kyle? Hmm. Yes, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle ran the country. Everyone remembers President Kyle. President he, Kyle. Everyone remembers Kyle. He's he's he's, he's like it, it's like Lil Wayne in in his Carter series. It's it's Kyle now. Now there's Doctor Carter, Mister Carter, President Carter. Now there's just President Kyle, Kyle and Producer Kyle and Twitch Chat Kyle. And uh, cousin Kyle, and cousin Kyle again. Have you heard from words? Words? <laughs> Have you heard from Twitch Chat Kyle in a while? Yeah. Well, me and Nate were actually streaming World at War earlier today, and Kyle popped up in the chat. What the hell? You stream World at War, <laughs> and I miss Twitch. Chat Kyle. <laughs> we were just saying, like he hasn't been on him forever. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, maybe, um, maybe after the podcast, if I can get the streaming to work, uh, we can stream something and Kyle will pop up in the chat again. Who knows? Shout out to Twitch Chat Kyle, though. Shout out to Twitch Chat Kyle. <laughs> I'm just sad. I missed all the good stuff today. Okay. <laughs> Like, the only good again. thing that I got to come home to was a game of World of War multiplayer somehow. Hey, somehow. yeah. World of War, 13 years old. And uh, we somehow managed to get a full lobby in Team Deathmatch multiplayer and lose it just as fast. What are you talking about? I was on the winning team. Oh, you're talking we about lost the, the lobby. Deadline. 
Yeah. <laughs> Condor, I know we do this podcast every week, but good God, I just I worry about you. I've stopped I worrying to... about him a long time ago. I need to fear. Uh, Zoidberg riding a sperm is here. And that's why I worry about him. Now, see, the, the, only time, the only time I worry about him is when I don't hear from him for like three or four days. What are you doing for three or four days that you can't talk to either of us? My rule is, if I don't hear from you for two weeks, I assume you're dead. I mean, yeah. I can totally agree with that. Yeah. Either you're physically dead or you're dead to me. Yeah. Well, (laughs) on that Um, note... um, we do have a special segment here on the What the Condor podcast. We did it a couple weeks ago. We had uh, Nasty Nate film reviews. But um, we're going to flip the switch a little bit. Flip, flip. Shout out to Drake. Um, and we right. are going to do Nasty Nate game reviews. Big gamer boys over here on the What the Condor podcast. And, oh, we, yeah. have, and we have a game review from our very own Nasty Nate. We got a... Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm gonna pass the uh, the microphone that is you know <laughs> we don't share over to over to Nate, and we're gonna give him the floor. Well, first things first. Shout out to Britt for getting me the game in the first place. Absolutely, much love on the podcast. But uh. I mean, right off the bat, I love it. It's super fun to play. It's pretty accurate. As far as like... Accurate to what? Vikings. Wait, those were real? I'm going to ignore that. (laughs) Did the the Vikings win? (laughs) Did the people win? The people do not win, Condor. I don't know how many times I've played this People the are people not will win. win someday. On Sunday? Sunday is not today. So yeah. someday on sun on Sunday they're gonna win on Sunday. It's Monday, I'm, so I'm, you got, got it. you've got six days to to remember that the people will win. And I hope to God that you forget. He won't. I'm going to send you a text on Sunday saying the people have won. <laughs> well, you said you were gonna send me texts every day to grab World at War, and you never did. That's true. Uh, you're right. It's not my fault, I'm illiterate. Anyway. I mean, like I said, I'm, the game as a whole, I love. I, uh, I love the fact that you can just roll up and raid villages on your longship. Like, that shit's fun as hell. I could do that all day. You just, you row up to this fucking place, you blow your horn, and the fucking boat just, like, flies into the land. And you guys just jump out and start wrecking shit. It's really fun. The uh, the story's pretty good so far too. I, I I was a little confused about it though, because with like every game, you know, there's like the big bad boss that you get introduced to in the very beginning, and you gotta wait till like the very end to finally kill him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, not in this game. You meet your big bad, you know, all of like two minutes into the game. And you get to kill him by, like, chapter two. So there's only two chapters to the game? No, there's 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 quite a bit more. I'm... You become maybe, the big bad boss? I mean, in, in some way, probably. In theory? I've killed my fair share of civilians by accident, so probably. Is that on purpose? Well, I mean, yeah, some of them were accidents, some of them were on purpose. They had it come the way. It, it really just it, it it just depends. But uh, you know, you kill the big bad by like chapter two, and then you start hunting his fucking son. That's currently what I'm doing. So does he become the big bad boss? I guess. Like, like you know, I like mean, remember, I'm I'm maybe a quarter of the way through this game. So, you know, th- this is not a complete like full video game review. So wait, are you the Vikings representing Finland? Norway. Well, the Finland Vikings. 
I don't know. What about the Minnesota Vikings? Those didn't exist yet. Yeah, had Do you think they have they had football back then? They probably I, had I baseball need, back then. They have Minnesota back then. I need to know. Probably not. <laughs> but I do not know. You know, baseball goes back to the dinosaurs, so, you know. Baseball goes back to the dinosaurs. Now I just imagine dinosaurs playing baseball. You know who I think would be really good at fucking baseball? I think it's a, a lot, lot of people from back then. A fucking Anki. Those motherfuckers with the big club t- with the big club tail. Just fucking, sp- dude, they'd get home runs every time. No, nah, they seem like bunters who can run fast. No. Very much if, no. If anything, that would be a raptor. And you fucking know it. You've played enough arc with me. Are the raptors frisky? Yes. <laughs> really? They are very frisky raptors. I don't get it. Well, it sucks to be you then. Is that like a ball fondler's joke? Anyway. Sure. Anyway. Shout out to Wait. Tim. Shout out to Tim. For Frisky Raptors. Shout out. Out. Did I said I was going to do a thing, I did a thing. <laughs> so. Um, the Raptors, they, they play baseball, and, and Assassin's Creed. Toronto? Probably. The Toronto I mean, Raptors that play baseball. The Toronto Raptors. Kyle Lowry left today. He went to the Miami Heat. Miami Raptors. Dang. No, sure. he's, he's not a Raptor anymore. He's a, he's a Heat. <laughs> he's a good old Wait, Heat. What city? Mama. Oh, Florida Marlins. Okay, got it done. Next. Sure. Hey, I play for them in MLB The Show. I don't remember who I play for. I haven't done it yet. Speaking but of... Uh... No, no. Let me get back to my review. <laughs> <laughs> We've trailed off so much. He's hey, Kyle, pissed. Can we... Uh... Get back on track here. You're kind of uh, distracting, You're distracting us, like, us here. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Kyle. Fucking Kyle. But no, so so far the game is really fun. The is uh, the, yeah, the inventory system as far as like your gear, it, it I get a I get an Odyssey vibe from it because it's same thing. You can equip different pieces of armor. And weapons, and you can upgrade them. Why does it give you a minivan vibe? <laughs> that an Odyssey vibe, right? Yes. If you don't, then I will. Okay. It's your story. I brought to you by the Thank Honda you. Odyssey. Shut up. I do like the dual wielding system, though. You can run around with two fucking shields and just beat the fuck out of people. It's pretty funny. Nice. It's, it's very, very ineffective as far as, like, really doing anything. But it's fun to do. And you get you get special abilities that you can unlock. Like, I've got one where I just, like, throw, like, four or five axes at different enemies. It's pretty fun. Ethel Axel? Yes. Axel Verstappen? Axel Verstappen. Verstappen. Where Verstappen? I get it. Then. But yeah, no, I, I mean, I guess that's really it for now. Like I said, I'm, I'm maybe a quarter of the way through the game. It's really fun. So that, is that, does this mean we get four... Separate game reviews for Possibly. each quarter of the game? Possibly. So we have one fourth of the nasty Nate game reviews 
concluded, unless you had something else to say. I have no idea. Nope, that was really about it. So we've got a quarter of the Nasty Nate film reviews concluded here on the What the Condor podcast. Love to see it. I love the enthusiasm. I really do. Hey, it's much it's much appreciated. Okay, so uh I got a little game segment that we're gonna try to do here. Oh, what's that? Episode, but uh we're gonna try it again. We're not gonna translate the tracking you. number again, are we? Uh no, that was last episode. Maybe the next episode too. But, uh the first uh I'm play name five. Okay. Sir Surfing Flower Man Seed. Uh, this one's gonna go to you. Okay. Um, I play catcher in MLB The Show, so I'm ready to catch anything. Hey, I need you to name five new colors. Go. Like, like in the in the Helen bloodline. Uh, color. <laughs> huh? Damn it. You said colors. five new colors. Colors. Oh. Color. Oh. 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 Um, um, um Wiener Tan, um, yeah. uh, Jumbo Shrimp Pink, because that's the team I play for on the show. Um, whole lot of red, whole lot of red. Um, <laughs> um, 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 I uh, can do it. John Cena. Endorse Invisible Ink and um 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 come on you need one more oh god one more I need to come up with something um um I was looking burnt ass cheek red okay it's a whole lot of red it's very different from Whole Lot of Red. Yeah, I believe you. I feel like Whole Lot of Red's a very bright red, while like Burnt Ass Cheek is like a very dark red. Mm-hmm. I've never seen the uh, John Cena Invisible Ink color. Me either. Can't see it. I don't know, me either. I, I, I hear that they sell like a special like little pen flashlight. That'll let you see whatever's written, but last time I checked, those things are like three hundred bucks a pop. I would believe that. And the thing is, a one-time wiener. You're a wiener. He was so confident hey. in that delivery. Yes. There's no name, man. Are you ready for your round? About as ready as I'll be. Or is this gonna get a little bit more specific? Oh God. Do you know what the Star Wars is? You mean like Star Wars movies? Yes. Yes. I need you to give me the next five Star Wars movie titles and or spinoffs. Never happened. <laughs> okay. Um, what, okay, well, what number So you know most of them, right? I, I know most of them, yes. Okay, so I we just, are... I, just, I don't remember how many there are at this point. So I think there's what nine movies. There's the original trilogy, which is four, five, and six. The the prequels from the '90s that are one, two, and three, and then the new ones are seven, eight, and nine. And then we have Rogue One. And we have Solo with Donald Glover in it. Shout out to Childish Gambino. And then of course we have The Mandalorian, which is the new show. Yeah, those are the current ones. I need the Next five. Okay. What are the name? What are the subtitles? <laughs> what are the subtitles? Okay, well, um, first, it's going to be uh, Star Wars Episode 10, White Women. <laughs> White Women? <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Star Wars. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like this one already. <laughs> white women about the stormtroopers. <laughs> I'm sorry, you said what, Condor? Is white women about the stormtroopers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> white women. <laughs> It's going to be Star Wars. Episode 11, The Dark Side Returns. Okay. Number, what is it, 12? Yeah. Number 12 is going to be Star Wars Episode 12, The Dark Side Fights Back. Then we're going to have Star Wars Episode 13. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the dark side takes our white women. <laughs> <laughs> it, all, it all just lose back, god damn it. <laughs> it t- takes like two whole movies, but they finally take the white women. <laughs> so, so wait, what do I need? One more? Yeah. Need episode 14. Or a spinoff. Or a spinoff. All right, yeah, no. And then after the dark side takes the white women, there's going to be a spinoff called Star Wars white women run the dark side. And it's going to be a story about the white women from inside taking over the entire, the entirety of the dark side. This sounds like porn. (laughs) It's kind of a porno. This sounds like Star Wars porn. A little bit. 34. There's definitely a, there's definitely some, uh, some blaster play in there. Oh, wow. So, but yeah, no, there you go. <laughs> there's, there's the, the next five Star Wars things. So we can combine the two and make uh, white women a color, right? What, wait, what'd you say? Going back to uh, Aaron's question, white women is now. So we're making color. white woman white yes. as our as our sixth new color. Yes. I mean, okay. <laughs> That's fine by me. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Condor, oh. I need you to give me. Um. Uh oh. Five new expansion team names for any sport. You could do one of each. You can do a couple for one sport and then a, a few more on in other sports. I just need five new expansion teams. Okay, well, uh, City and names. Well, in baseball, you see, you got the... Um... That city down there. There's the a lot of El cities Paso down there. Bowls. You said the who? El Paso is getting the Bulls. The baseball. El Paso, the El Paso Bulls baseball team. Okay. A root for the Bulls in multiple sports. Yes. Um, I'll fuck with it. If you say you're a Bulls fan, you'll have to specify now. Uh, basketball, we're gonna get the uh, Pittsburgh Priests, holiest of cities, apparently. The Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Priests. Priests, yeah, sure, okay, because uh, it's gonna be like a baptism, we're gonna dunk on these guys. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. <laughs> hey, I'm here for that, and that's um, about how much Condor understands basketball. Correct. So um, we've got the El Paso Bulls, Pittsburgh Priests, and then out in the uh, Utah, we're gonna get the uh, new National Hockey League team, uh, Salt Lake City Salt Salt Miners. Salt Lake City Assault Miners. Salt, <laughs> Salt Miners. Lake City Salt Miners. Like people who mine salt. Wordy, but so is the name of the city, Salt Lake City. 
Uh, okay. They're going to all the fans, make them super salty. Of course. Okay. We're going to go As to they the do. NFL. NFL? Okay. We're, we're, we're just going to say, um, why is getting a football team? Oh. Hot Hawaii uh, scuba divers, because they're uh, was at the bottom. <laughs> Hawaii scuba divers. <laughs> what a name. Um, and last but not least, uh, actually gonna get a uh, football team. By that I mean soccer, because I don't know why I said that. I'm American. <laughs> It's gonna be in Florida. It's just called. It's gonna be called the uh, Florida Men FC. Florida Men FC. Yeah. Hey, the Florida Man is very iconic in Florida the goal, in, in this age of the he, internet. He needs to be a team. In this golden age of the internet, the Florida Man is very much an icon. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> So yeah, we we've all done a name five. I forget everything that's happened, but you know it's fine. As do I. Remember that one time where we had a plan? Those are long term effects by uh, being near Condor. Yeah, pretty much. I'm still confused by uh, my microphone. Why is that? It's a snowball. The snowball mic that says blue on it, but it's white. <laughs> it's lying Sir. to Sir. And you need help. Probably. Oh, there's Sound no problem about cheaper. it. I mean, yeah. You're probably right. And so I was uh, just talking about all my problems on the podcast. Feel that, I mean, and by talking really about good. all my problems on the Twitch stream, twitchtv slash surf and flee with two A's. In case you were wondering, I went. Oh, where, I was thirty-three minutes without saying a word about the Twitch. Uh, I would good. like that put in a record book. Where do I add the second A? Add before the. Last day or after the last day? Yes. Mm-hmm. See, no, Condor, you, you want to do it before. Just because if you do it after, it's going to take you to some other asshole. And it's, it's not going to be worth your time. Ah. This dude literally just streams white walls all day. I mean, I, hey, what's wrong with that? I'd watch it. I mean, hey, you do you, man. You do you. I do every day. <laughs> My masturbatorium. <sighs> hey. All right. I don't think that means what I think it means. But we all know what you mean. I mean, we all know what. Masturbatorium. I just think of a giant room where you can masturbate wherever you want. Yeah. Like a mausoleum. I don't know how to spell. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> so, uh, Google Box. I'm going to regret this. You probably are. Yeah, more than likely. I mean, it is you were talking about, so I would not doubt it. <sighs> wait, wait. I'm finding things about masturbatoriums. 
He's finding you are finding out things about masturbatoriums right now. What what is going on? Uh, okay. Okay. Masturbatorium is a real room. It was what is it really? What is it? It's old English for party room. I mean, same thing. Yeah, but this is a party of one. It, it's still, so it's still a party room. It is still a party room. That it is. What classifies a party? <laughs> Does there have to be cake for there to be a party? No. Does that have to be cream filling? Yes. That white icing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I'll. Whoa. I'll get cake and I uh, get cream filled. Anyways, um, does anybody have any closing thoughts before Condor goes that far off the rails? Tell me how many rails I can go off. This is not Thrillville, Condor. I miss that game so fucking much. Wow. You know, I, I might just okay. go to a game store and see if I can find it for my PlayStation. Got smacked in the face with the microphone. You could probably just swing on over to your local disc replay and find a nice $2 copy of Thrillville Off the Rails for like $1.50. You know, it's funny because that's actually where I was thinking about going. Like, that, that was my first thought. I would have thought Canada. Yeah, Scott, I'm going to go to fucking Canada just to find a, a copy of Thruville off the rails. I mean, easiest place to find it. I don't think so. You don't think, uh, like, the box is, like I do. Let's see. I mean, sure, why not? I mean, I yeah. found it for six bucks right here on eBay. You didn't have to leave the house. Is is the eBay listing in Canada? Yes. Is it really? Wait. No. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> but honestly, my whole thing is like, I mean, if I pay for it, I want it now. Yeah. I'm very impatient. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, if I can't find it, then I might just, you know, order it online. Because mm-hmm. it would totally be worth it. I, I mean, hell, I, dude, I'll fucking fire up the Xbox, get in a party with you guys, and then fucking switch inputs and play Thrillville. And Condor does that to me sometimes when he's playing his PlayStation. Thrillville had a great soundtrack. I don't remember dick about a soundtrack. I just remember creating fucking half ass roller coasters that broke down and killed people. I think there's not exactly the same, but I think it's the same company made a game. I think it's like Scream Ride or something. Huh. On the ain't ain't that something. Uh, hmm. I might have to check that out. Shout out to Thrillville, bro. Shout out, bro. Fun ass game. Scream Ride. Never got tired of it. And shut up about Scream Ride, Condor. No one knows what Scream Ride is. Um, I was the dickhead who made miniature golf courses in Thrillville. You know, I I totally believe that. I really do. Now, normal miniature golf courses has nine holes. No, fuck that. You're playing one hole. You, uh... What was it? Just one 19 like, strokes ass. to get to the end. It was, oh, you just made, like, one giant ass court or hole? Yeah. That is such a Condor thing to do. It really is. 
I, mean, yeah, I, I, would, I would just make little bullshit ass like short holes and just you know be like, okay, you got a nine hole, let's go, move on to building more roller coasters. About that, but yeah. yeah. Anything else to add on before we uh, wrap up here, episode six? We've made it through six of these goddamn things. I'm surprised we made it this far. Well, I guess that'll do it for episode six of the What the Condor podcast. I was just about to say, with that, it's been Nasty Nate, Surf and Flea, and the Condor 13. Not the 13th Condor. Don't Tune in it. next time yeah, I mind. when we review the Wendy's Whopper. Okay. If you haven't lost Kyle? too many brain cells, make sure you guys follow us and stay tuned for the next episode. Kyle, do you have if you my... Have uh... lost, if you have lost too many brain cells, please direct all threats to Condor. Kyle, do you have my uh, native flavored Pringles? I need them here now. Come on. <laughs>